um, uh, the talk is relatively short, so I will jump uh, straight to the definition of uh, what is cloud native, as it's given by um, CNCF anyway. Uh, the text is rather long. Uh, basically, it's um, you know all good things are in, all bad things are out, and um, yeah, um, I condensed it into some sort of a, you know checklist. So we should run on clouds. We should be resilient, robust, predictable. We should be manageable. We should employ automation. We should be observable. Uh, there should be certain engineering practices in place. Um, patterns, usage patterns, operational patterns uh, should be available. And of course, integrations. And um, yeah, we will just uh, go quickly through this. Um, so obviously we can run on clouds. Uh, Tanzu, AWS, Azure. We have Cloud MQP with Cloud in name, uh, which is uh, good. And um, yeah, basically everywhere where Docker runs, we can run too. Um, so regarding resilience and predictability, the definitions are uh, really consist. Robust, how hard we can, uh, how hard to break. Resilient, how fast it heals. And well, predictability is longer, but uh, it's just, you know, uh, are we sure that we know how the system will react? And well, the catch here is that, uh, you know, Revit is a stateful app. Um, and whenever we hear all these cool stories about dynamic environments, nodes going up and going down, automatic clustering, you know, it's uh, all this Kubernetes stuff. Uh, it's uh, kind of um, how to apply it yeah, to my stateful app. And my favorite Google query of all times uh, is how to run database on Kubernetes. Lots of interesting stories, experiences, um, like again, clustering, storage, uh, performance, uh, network performance. Um, so, uh, well, as everybody probably heard already, our solution here is uh, Raft for cluster management. And um, yeah, well, it's basically well-known algorithm. Uh, lots of other products uh, use it. And, um, you know, we are basically in a good company here. Um, and uh, two kind of main things is that uh, we can assume that the knowledge regarding cluster management can be reused uh, from other products. Um, so if they are raft based, uh, they can exhibit the same behavior. And since CTCD and therefore Kubernetes used it, you know, again, we are kind of uh, cloud native enough. Uh, well, RabbitMQ is manageable. We have management UI, um, you know, and there is automation. Of course, uh, it's all about our operators. Um, the, you know, they have really healthy uh, development um, kind of speed. And uh, you see versions bumped. Uh, and um, again, cluster operator that really, really um, good changes. Uh, uh, it incorporates new features uh, really fast. And uh, I personally would like to highlight uh, things uh, from topology operator. So SuperStream CRD uh, was released in January. So I guess it's way before, um, you know, the blog post uh, written and it's spoken about. Um, and all this time, it's kind of, you know, gets tested. Um, the next thing is uh, support for connection secret, so-called bring your own RabbitMQ concept. So with topology operator, now we can manage topologies basically for any cluster, like addressable cluster. Uh, it's not necessarily for it to be Kubernetes managed. managed. Um, small fix for login format. It's nice uh, to have it. In my opinion, it highlights you know that we care about um, such things, um, and um, yeah, it's a way. It's kind of laying path forward towards um, automatic logs processing. There is also Profiler uh, was integrated uh, in both operators. Um, so yeah, we do care about uh, resource management and performance uh, for operators uh, too. Um, 
So the next uh, topic is uh, observability. Well, um, the infamous three pillars, metrics, logs, distributed tracing. As you know, we have tons and tons and tons of uh, Prometheus metrics and uh, the number is growing and we have dashboards for, I don't know, everything. Uh, some of them were rather intimidating to me, like uh, uh, allocators. Uh, one thing that we don't uh, kind of do, at least uh, publicly, is um, uh, we don't share our approach regarding alerts. Uh, this is uh, kind of the place where we would like to learn from community. So if you do alerts um, on uh, RabbitMQ metrics, please do let us know. Um, the same for logs, we have uh, structured logging, uh, but um, and, uh, the approach to automatic log suggestion and processing is not formalized yet. And uh, this is kind of, uh, many people wish it, uh, myself included, to kind of make our operators reactive. Uh, you know, so some alert is fired and we invoke some coded best practice. Um, that will be great. So yeah, again, if you do automatic logs processing, please uh, let us know. Well, and the third thing is distributed tracing. Um, it's kind of a <laughs> uh, wide, I would say, area. Um, for those who are not really familiar, uh, distributed tracing is about this. So spans collected from you know, services. I won't go into uh, details here, but it also looks like this. So here we see uh, Jaeger um, kind of computed uh, the uh, call graph, the services and the call flow. Um, so this is a really nice tooling for debugging and uh, just exploring. And well, you know, it's open telemetry time. We are looking into integrating open telemetry and it's a huge, 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 huge topic. And um, it basically has two kind of parts. Uh, first is uh, pure user facing. So cl client uh, apps, uh, user apps can start doing it like right now. Uh, it's about uh, traces uh, continuity. So, um, you know, how to carry over trace context uh, through Rabbit. The solution is obvious, uh, is to use uh, W3C trace context standard. And um, please use uh, these message headers, respectively trace parent, trace context. There is a software already in the wild, in the production um, that does so. Uh, so, you know, we just kind of go towards interoperability uh, here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much safe things to do, uh, thing to do. And the second, well, you know, it's uh, integrating open telemetry inside uh, RabbitMQ software. Um, the first, uh, we are looking into management, uh, API management, UI and operators. And then, well, the data path is obviously the most hardest um, thing to do both for performance and uh, generated da data volume. Um, but yeah, if you were wondering where is distributed tracing, um, yeah, here it comes <laughs> at various spaces. And um, yeah, if you already do it, uh, once again, please uh, let us know. So um, one really important thing about uh, engineering practices is that, uh, you know, the team fully embraced uh, clouds and Kubernetes. Each major feature is tested, uh, different cluster configurations like after pilots and stuff like that, like Grafana dashboards um, um, kind of used and uh, all these uh, things monitored. So, you know, Kubernetes is here kind of inside a daily process of Rabbit and QT. Uh, now regarding patterns, well, <laughs> if you kind of want less problems that teach your users uh, properly, we have tutorials, you know, we have uh, blogs. We have to add streams and stupid streams, I guess, uh, to the tutorials. Uh, but uh, yeah, the 
distributed tracing definitely missing. And uh, for me, it's um, kind of was always the hardest topic, you know, uh, how to select proper relationships to proper attributes, um, all that stuff. Luckily, we have open to learn to message and semantic conventions. So for example, uh, you go to this document and you see like all this stuff, including, for example, uh, most common um, kind of usage patterns. For example, for batch processing, yeah, we have a uh, process producer uh, publishes two messages, consumer that receives them and processes uh, in the batch. And yeah, it's just clear, you know, uh, what you designate as a parent, who you link to, uh, you see custom messaging uh, attributes uh, here, like destination, duration, and of course, messaging system is already for you. Uh, so please do check out open telemetry messaging semantic conventions. Uh, cool things really simplify everything. So yeah, and then integration and the yeah, ultimate case for us, uh, I guess now it's a key native. Um, it's uh, serverless containers in Kubernetes environments and serverless means that we host programs, backends, and I mean functions here. Um, the RabbitMQ support obviously exists and um, it's used by VMware you know, in production. So the main components here are serving, eventing, and functions. We will quickly look at serving and eventing. Uh, the coolest part kind of about serving it after scaling, so it can even scale to zero. Uh, and uh, well, eventing is where we live with RabbitMQ. Um, and from eventing, we can reach Seren, you know. So eventing is a collection of APIs to enable you to have event-driven architecture. You know, everything inside Keynative, it lives in form of cloud events and HTTP endpoints. And um, like major components like sources, they used to generate uh, new events uh, and bring them from the outside world. For example, if you want to bring uh, RabbitMQ messages um, inside the native environment, um, yeah, just use RabbitMQ source or you know, write yours and it can roll to anything addressable, which is anything with you know um, address HTTP URL uh, in Kubernetes status object. Uh, so the so sources uh, put events to sinks, and uh, which is any addressable callable entity, and brokers are the things too. So uh, this is a quick uh, graph. We see that sources they generate events, they go to broker, and um, we use triggers to well filter out and route to different things the sinks. And um, yeah, so brokers, again, from Knative perspective, it's just a thing with uh, URL. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, they uh, they have implementation behind it. In our case, it's RabbitMQ. And uh, delivering semantic is pretty much dependent on uh, the actual broker. So this is how RabbitMQ uh, broker uh, diagram looks like. Uh, things in orange, like header exchange, and stuff is managed by Knative RabbitMQ integration. Um, automatically via topology operator. And we can do it in any cluster because topology operator supports, well, any cluster. Uh, Kubernetes managed, outside managed, doesn't matter. And um, yeah, what's interesting here is we have at least once semantic, you know, we do retries, we have configurable dead letters. And uh, yeah, we work hard uh, on at least one semantic. Uh, well, even uh, Golang driver was patched. <laughs> um, we use publisher confirms and yeah, we fixed it in Golang driver. As for source, yeah, it's much simpler. But again, there are some uh, managed objects by a topology operator programmatically. Um, yeah, it really can route uh, these uh, messages to any consumer and they will be, you know, in cloud event format. Um, 
So main highlights, uh, Knative RabbitMQ and GA in July. Can use any RabbitMQ in, uh, instance. Um, by default, it's uh, FIFO, but uh, with parallel de uh, delivery, well, uh, reordering can happen. And we use publisher confirms, of course. We use quorum queues by default, but the queue type is configurable. We use both operators and the topology operator uh, SDK extensively used, you know, to programmatically create Rabbit and Q topologies, reconcile them. Uh, obviously we have tons of metrics. We use distributed tracing uh, in this, uh, well, you know, light form of um, trace continuity. So we send along trace context and trace panel headers. And yeah, with Rabbit and Q source, you can bring your RabbitMQ messages inside key native as cloud event. Um, so I guess you should check out key native if you like serverless, you know, if you want to migrate some loads to serverless with RabbitMQ source, it's possible just uh, pick something, enjoy after scaling some jobs probably. Uh, yeah, if you want to see how, you know, it's all working, it's all operators and stuff like that uh, integrates, if you want to learn about programmable RabbitMQ, how we manage, you know, from within Kubernetes, the topology from within Kubernetes, and well, how to use GoLang driver. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, quite neat. And uh, yeah, we would like to learn more how you like our operators, how you process RabbitMQ logs, uh, how you set up alerts, uh, do you use distributed tracing, and well, yeah, what do you think about uh, Key Native? Uh, please um, do reach out to us on Slack or GitHub um, or emails, uh, whatever. The, this is like the alerts is really hot topic um, because well, uh, we want our operators to be smarter. Um, so yeah, then there goes you know slides with links. They obviously not clickable, uh, but I will send to organizers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and um, yeah, thank you for watching, for listening.